going into the B&B hostel. complaint because I stayed in other bed and breakfasts. There's two colleagues here. One faxed your head office with, I emailed here, yes, with the complaints. I joined as a member. I went in about 10 different bed and breakfasts around uh, Bavaria, Stuttgart, Heidelberg. My treatment was horrendous. Racist comments, sexist comments. The, pe the staff here were okay. Or, I mean, you should check the email. It was bad. Locked out of my room, people banging on my door. I ended up. Or colleagues, or just people, or just guests. No, your your colleagues. Even yes. when I was in Dusseldorf, I actually asked for a doctor. I ended up getting in a seven-hour argument until about six a.m. in the morning. Sent You're speaking from this BB hotel, from our hotel. No, the reason I came to this one yes. is it had nothing to do with you. Okay. I it was Nuremberg, Würzburg, Stuttgart. Heidelberg, Frankfurt, um, there was 10, Dusseldorf. I sent the email here and they faxed it. And these three people that work in your complaints department promised that I would have a response by today or I said I'll go all over social media. It was horrific. They screwed up my... What is your name, please? Uh, last name, Fraser. F-R-A-S-E-R. -E I'm asking for a full refund. And the, reason, the only reason I'm staying in Germany now is waiting for this. I mean, just horrendous. I contacted Boris Becker's um, agency. In, in which BB hotel you were? I just, I just, so I was in... You, yes. I was in... Um, the problem is that, um, I see it here, Frankfurt, Stuttgart. So I started in Nuremberg. Yes, it even got to the point I was asking about memberships yes. and they were throwing the paper in my face, do it yourself. Yes. I got put yes, into safe. Um, so anyway, I wrote the whole complaint down. Yes. I sent the email to, to here. Yes, the problem is <laughs> um, every BB hotel has a, a own management. No, no, no. And Time it's out. all um, they, on they, 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 No, no, but they called the head office and spoke to the head office okay. and they faxed the head office. I have the fax in, okay. my, in my hotel room. I don't stay at B&B anymore. Yes. They said 100% I'll get a response today by email on absolutely everything. I've had zero. I'm very okay. angry. Yes, I understand. I need something to be done or honestly I'll start contacting Boris Becker's agent or whatever. It was outrageous. It got so bad that in Stuttgart they mixed up the room, which was not my fault. They said, oh, you need to pay extra. I said, but I don't need a family room. He's going, oh my God, like, I'm stood there. Oh my God, he won't even pay fucking 10 extra euros. There's customers lining out the door. He's refusing to give me a room until I pay extra for a room that I didn't book. Put me in the disabled room. The, the, the drain in the Stuttgart is blocked. I have a shower. There's water everywhere. He blames me. And it's like, oh, you're gonna have to pay for this. I'm like, what? And I'm stood in the hallway, half naked. Then they put me in another room. That was about, that's just a space of 30 hours. It was yes. like that nonstop. I got to Frankfurt. I didn't feel very well from all the uh, harassment. Basically, all I did was I came down one morning and I said, could you please tell me where the uh, hospital is? What? Like, with, with that venom, I'm like, S sorry? I'm like, where's the hospital? And what do you want? Frankfurt. Frankfurt. I mean, it, and the thing is, I go to Heidelberg. I say, oh, can you tell me where this is? She was so angry with something, picked up the receiver and is smashing it on the goddamn receiver. I stayed there two days. My Dusseldorf one, I asked for an arts. The room I went in was disgusting. I then went to 615. I asked for a doctor. This went on for 12 hours, yelling, screaming, wrong numbers. Mm -hmm. And then, honestly, I checked out and I said, never again. But the problem is, is the two days ago I came here, mm -hmm. she spoke to them. They're like, yes, we didn't get the first email you sent. I sent about five emails. Um, and I detailed each hostel, hot the hotel. Yes. They then said, uh, they faxed it. I got the receipt at the time and the date. And they promised 
maximum yes. I would have um, a response yes. by end of day they, today, and there's nothing. Promise, there's nothing. They will do it, but there's nothing. Yes, it's four o'clock. But um, our uh, head office is a little bit. Yes. I don't. It's not my issue, is it? Yes. Right. But if uh, you're telling me your head office. But if they promise, they will do it. It's four o'clock on. Yeah, but but they will do it. I can. Well, they have one hour. Yeah, the problem is we have Friday and nobody is uh, there anymore. So then they will say, so you, how can they how can they do it then? What you said just doesn't is a contradiction. How mm. can they do it if they've already left? Um, I'm spending money I, in other hotels. I will, hotels I will write an email again and I will write that. Uh, yes, I mean, it's that, just that lies. Is the, the last chance to uh, yes. I would like a copy. Care of, for you. I would like a copy of the email, please, because yes. I have been extremely patient. They put my health in jeopardy, and now you're saying no, they'll definitely do it, and now they've obviously already it left. It was two days ago, right? Yes. They, okay, then I think they will do it. Because, um, no, it was supposed to be done by end of day. Fr it's supposed to be done now. They, you just told me they've left. How can they do something if they've already left? It's impossible. Um, do you know a name uh, from, uh, from the head office? A person? They wouldn't tell me. I asked for the name and okay. they wouldn't tell me. Okay. I mean, um, I'm, honestly, I'm getting about 5% close to going all over social call media. I customer care service, okay? I mean, I, I'm, I have been extremely patient. I wanted to join as a member. I want full refund on everything. Not only from the complaints from the hospital. Tracy, what is your first name? Barry. But I'm now being lied to about my complaint. I sat over there and there for two hours going back and forth with two of your other colleagues. Not, still nothing is done. The only reason I'm staying in, in Germany is to get this resolved. I mean, it's horrific. I actually emailed mm. Boris Becker's agent in London and said, if this does not get resolved, I'll be all over this. I ended up in hospital because of being B. Seriously, in Dusseldorf, I ended up in hospital. I, I will wait through there, yes? Yes, I will, I will try to call them. Call them, email something. Yes. I'm telling you, I'm really not happy.